Welcome back to the channel. We have another one live right now, popping off. Whenever I talk about these companies, they, they just go ballistic missile crazy. I don't know what's going on. Looking at Smurf right now, um, I was about to do an intro for this. It's up 25%. What just happened? This is insane. Okay, so let's dig right into this. This is tokens.com. They're a publicly traded company that invests in digital assets such as crypto staking and DeFi. Tickers are on the screen. They are traded on the NEO, the FSC, and the OTC. So very interesting company. We're gonna do a deep dive into this company, a review of them, see what they're all about, look at the news, look at the team, look at the charts, do a technical analysis, bullish and bearish scenarios, find out what's going on because we wanna be in tune and aware of what's going on in all aspects of the crypto space because we know crypto is the digital currency of the future. It's not going anywhere. So let's always pay attention to what's going on in the news with these companies. So here's our website. They recently had a website refresh, looks very good. They are democratized exposure to DeFi, expanding access to the new wave of financial innovation and crypto through a publicly traded company. So this company is heavily involved in proof of staking. They're staking a bunch of coins, ETH being the dominant one. They're also um, into NFTs. We'll dive into all that uh, in a minute. By investors investing into this company, um, into the stock, they are getting the exposure to proof of staking. As the rewards continue to grow and crypto staking continues to go up as cryptocurrency rises, the stock should in turn do just as well because this is how this is affecting their balance sheet, which is for the publicly traded company tokens.com. This is not a cryptocurrency you're investing in. This is a publicly traded stock that you're investing in. Compound growth generating revenue that compounds 24 seven, 365 through crypto staking. We know this, it's not like the stock market. This is the crypto market. It never sleeps. It's always producing results. It's always moving. Digital asset inventory positioned for long-term growth with a balance sheet of digital assets in the most innovative areas of crypto, and we'll dive exactly into that. So here are some quick highlights of the company. They have an experienced management team, experience in blockchain and capital markets, exposure to staking and DeFi, like I was saying. Public market investors now have access to an area of blockchain typically reserved for those with blockchain expertise. You now can tap into that just by investing into a stock that has these assets on their balance sheet, which is very cool. Premier staking partners and custodians, a deep technical expertise in industry, industry leading scale to provide tokens.com with first rate staking operations and security, revenue positive, green flag, digital asset inventory that is generating revenue 24 seven, constantly compounding with no downtime. That is awesome. So let's dig into the investor presentation. This is available on pretty much every company's website. And I always recommend doing this. The greater your confidence is in a company, the, the stronger your hands will be with holding an investment that you believe in. You won't get shaken out and scared if you know what you're holding. That's why during my deep dives, I do these videos so you can learn about these, these companies uh, and have more confidence if it's something that you're looking to get involved in. Tokens.com is publicly traded. We got that through a process called staking. Tokens.com's inventory of crypto is used to generate additional tokens. Executive summary, we have a problem and a solution. Investors are missing out due to the complexity of buying and securing crypto tokens, not mainstream friendly. We know how much press crypto is getting right now. Regulations are around the corner and everyone's trying to attack crypto because crypto is attacking them. They're attacking the big financial markets um, or they're just trying to make them better. That's up to you to uh, determine on how that's viewed. The solution, tokens.com, invest in DeFi and NFT based tokens. We use a process called staking to generate income. So that's where their, inner, their income is coming from, which in turn helps the stock perform better. So if you're not familiar with proof of stake, this is pretty much the, the opposite of proof of work. Proof of work like Bitcoin, you mine Bitcoin, there's mining for Ethereum, a bunch of coins obviously, but we know Ethereum, if you're involved in the crypto space, it's moving to proof of stake, meaning there's no more mining. It's like 100%, 99% eco-friendly now, the news can't attack them on that anymore. They can't say it's bad for the environment because it's proof of stake. There's no longer mining. Proof of stake performed by crypto stakers was created to improve on proof of work. Staking involves purchasing tokens and using them as collateral to validate transactions. Today, proof of stake is preferred technology for DeFi. 
Ethereum, the dominant blockchain for hosting DeFi, is upgrading from POW to POS to improve its processing speeds and carbon footprint. It's probably going to happen sometime early next year. All depends on that Vitalik dude. We'll see what he does. Um, proof of stake versus proof of work right here. Uh, with proof of du or POW, we have high energy consumption, only 15 transactions per second, capital intensive, no residual value, create an 08 outdated. Proof of stake solves POW flaws. All of these requires 99% less energy, 100,000 transactions per second. Staking investment can appreciate indefinitely. Once you start staking, you're going to see you, you just bought an animal. You bought a cheetah in a little kitty cat race. DeFi is supercharging crypto staking. Blockchain require crypto stakers like tokens.com to process DeFi transactions. 25 of the top 100 cryptocurrencies use staking to secure the networks. This is an interesting one I liked when I read it. Um, estimated staking payouts of 9 billion in 2021, 20 billion in 2022, that's double, more than double. And 40 billion in 2025, that's another double, double from 2022. The numbers are going to keep growing. This is so early on. People that are hesitant and skeptical because they see the price fluctuating so much, you're going to be kicking yourself in five years when you're like, what did I not buy? What was wrong with me? I don't get it. So here's a quick overview of their strategy summary. Uh, they're looking to identify large macro trends and movements in crypto. We all are because we all want to be rich. They're doing that through staking and NFTs. Purchase digital assets that will increase significantly in value, um, such as Polkadot, Binance, Coin, NFT games like SLP and AXS. Use technology to generate revenue from those assets through yield farming, staking, return compounding. All very good strategies. They're doing it on a bigger scale. They have more capital to do it with. So here is uh, some of their uh, portfolio, Ethereum. Polkadot, Binance, Oasis, Smooth Love Potion, SLP is an Ethereum-based token used in Axie Affinity, which is an NFT-based video game, Axie Affinity Shards, AXS is an Ethereum-based token used in Axie Affinity, which is an NFT-based video game. This most recent article I found just a few days ago posted uh, September 21st, about 10 days ago. Um, so Tokens.com is pleased to announce that it has acquired an additional 200 ETH uh, 2.0 this week, bringing the total of ETH 2.0 owning for staking to 2710. Massive numbers. That's a lot of ETH to own, to be staking, and to be getting rewards on. Let's now jump over to the executive team. Um, if you don't know who Andrew Kegel is, he owned or was CEO and co-founder of Hut8 Mining. So let me briefly tell you about that. Because when you're researching these companies, I mean, you should research these companies. A lot of investors nowadays don't even research. They just hit buy if they read a little tweet or something on stock tweets. They just hit buy, buy, buy. And then they sell when they're red because they didn't believe in it. This is another part that I like to get out there and stress so much. Build confidence in what you're investing in. That's why every time I... I invest, I first do a deep dive. I look at the technicals, I look at the team, I look at the investor presentation, they all have them on their websites, they're available. And uh, this helps me build my confidence on whether I'm gonna hold or get rid of it. So this this company so far I really like, um, Andrew Kegel is an accomplished executive with leadership experience in Canadian capital markets, corporate governance, and entrepreneurship. He was the co-founder and CEO of Hut8 Mining, one of the largest publicly listed Bitcoin miners in the world. So looking at the chart here, I could see a few things that I wanted to point out. Not a lot of data on here because the volume is so low. Typically, I don't like buying into companies with a very low volume if I'm going to day trade or swing trade it. So this would be more of a long-term investment as more eyes um, see this company and buy into it as cryptocurrency continues to expand and grow, more people will possibly buy into this company because of that. And when that happens, there'll be more volume and it'll be easier to day trade, swing trade this, short term trade it. But as of right now, because of the low volume, this is better for long term trades if you see a lot of potential in this company. So right now, I do see that we are starting to flatten out and maybe start to curl up. It's kind of in a uh, middle zone right here, flat zone. So it can either go north or south. I can't really determine if this is going to be bullish or bearish. But I do see that volume is picking up. Volume is very low down here. Now we're having these spikes, which is good. So people are seeing this and they're putting in big buys maybe for the future. 
Um, we're not up that 25% anymore, obviously. Yeah, volume is almost triple right now. So that's good. It's at 230,000 of volume because that big spike to that pushed us to 25%, averaging 90,000 in volume. So the uh, days range 39 cents to 52 cents. So green flag there, that volume is much bigger three times today than it was on average. So that's good, and volume is growing. So I would say that this is uh, somewhat neutral to slightly bullish. So I will be watching this. Always build up that confidence by watching these videos so you learn about these companies. Don't just look at a tweet and hit buy and then be upset because it's down. Um, companies go up and down. Your confidence will help you hold in companies you believe in. So watch these videos because I go over all the details that I can find within the company and get it out there. Also do your own DD if you like and do your own research and you'll you'll build that confidence for yourself. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's a review of the company. I like the company, great, great business model. Technicals are slowly improving. Volume is slowly picking up, but definitely put it on the watch list, put it on the radar. It's one to watch if you like crypto and uh, NFTs. So this is a paid sponsorship. They reached out to me to talk about this company. It's not financial advice. I'm just doing a review of the company for them unbiased, transparent of what's going on with this company and getting the word out there. So that's it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget by hitting that button. It's getting you a little bit closer to retiring. Yeah!